Welcome to Jam Time. My name is Ruth Acuff, and we're going to play a song called Newborn.
voice. Welcome to Jam Time. I am here with Ray Fitzgerald and Ruth Acuff, two lovely singer-songwriters who are here to talk with us about singing and songwriting. So, Ray, what was the song that you played for us? Um, uh, I played a new song. Uh, we played this new song called Copper and Genesis that's going to be on the upcoming album. When's that coming out? Uh, TBD. <laughs> uh, probably a couple months from now. No. Yeah. How'd you write that song? Um, I don't know. I'd like to say it's about like telling uh, family members, letting people down easy. That's what that song's about. That mm. and family. The, my uh, my next album is called uh, Popular Songs for Wholesome Families, and most of the songs have something to do with my family, and so that's one of them. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How did your instrumentations come along? under the idea? I mean, I just wrote, you know, the rhythm guitar part, really. And I don't even remember when I wrote that. I Actually, no, I do. Uh, I think Ian or Dill and I were on a tour, and we had some free time. We had just, like, boiled ramen and broccoli on a little camp stove in a park, and then there was nothing else to do before a show, and I got on my guitar and wrote part of that song. That's so, awesome yes. Okay. And Ruth, how, was, uh, how did your song come to be? Uh, the song I played is called Newborn, and I had just gone through writing some darker, sadder songs about death, and then I wanted to flip that around and write something happy, and it just so happened that my sister Mary was pregnant, so I took that inspiration from her being pregnant and thinking about babies and thinking about how they see the world. Mm -hmm. So that's where it came from. Okay. And do you guys use songwriting to help you understand your own lives? Or what, is, what does songwriting mean to you as a person? It's a very cathartic experience. It's, um, I don't know, it's a lot of things. I really like to write. Um, I like poetry a lot. Uh, and I like the actual art of crafting lyric, um, but most of the time anymore, it's about kind of capturing the ineffable. And it's because like not even like lyrics don't make sense to all people um, who haven't experienced them, but it's like this combination of particular sounds and words that kind of resonate into a feeling, and that's the cool part about music. Mm -hmm. so. Ruth, what do you think? Uh... Well, I guess how I write songs is different for every song, but I feel like when I write, usually there's an idea that I want to capture, and I'll try to base my my song on that. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, it's really just like, for me, I don't push songs at this point, and I just let them flow naturally, so... If I have an idea that I just don't know how to expand on it, I'll just sit on it for months and months and just wait for it to click. That's awesome. Mm. And part of the day's theme is that you two were among the first people I was recommended to have on Jam Time. Ooh. And for our last episode of this particular semester, I think it's very fitting to have you both on. Um, Thanks, yeah. Alan. Thank you. So, who are some other acts that you guys think are really coming up in Columbia that people should be checking out? Um, I don't know about like coming up in Columbia because they're already pretty popular, uh, but I'm playing a show tonight um, with my band at Rose, and we're playing with Soul Mama, which is Justin Hinkerson's project, and Cantaloper. And those are two really sweet bands. Mm -hmm. So Soul Mama would probably fit this vibe, maybe better or something. Okay. All right. And everyone that hasn't seen Soul Mom should probably check them out. Check them out. Mm -hmm. The internet's a wonderful thing. You can find things there. <laughs> and Ruth, are you some of your favorites? Uh, well, if you haven't seen Mary Ellen Kirk yet in town, she's at the top of her game as far as pop singer-songwriter on a keyboard. Her voice is great and she's just right in there. Uh, and then 
Violet and the Undercurrents are really, in my opinion, sounding awesome lately. They're four-piece ladies playing cello and guitar and drums and bass. And I think they all sing, and they're in Nashville right now recording, but they play around here, and they're great. And so if you had one thing to say to somebody who has lived in Columbia for a while but never gone to a local venue and seen a local show, what would you have to say? Yeah, no, there's a lot of good music in Columbia and that comes to the Columbia area. They could find a, um, a nationally touring act at Rose that a sweet local band was opening for. Discover it that way. I don't know. Mm -hmm. It's a big place. Lots of music. I think one thing that people forget about when they're going to see live music is how much music affects you. It's really like medicine, like you hear a sad song and you feel sad. You hear a happy song and you're happy and you might not even realize that's what's happening. But I think it's really important to experience that with live music. It's, it's really a different experience than listening to a recording and you get to see the performer and you can just feel their passion so much more. Records and listening to music is awesome but it's like, um, you know, a coin. It's mm -hmm. like this beautiful, shiny coin, and there's two sides of it, and there's different ways that you can understand the music and different ways you can hear it. So I, I think it's really important to go see live music. Awesome. Well, thanks for coming out, guys. Thank you, Alan. It was lovely. It was. This song is called Something in the Way, and it's by Nirvana. Underneath the bridge, the tar pass from a league, and the animals are trapped, and all become a It's okay to eat fish.